I have the most important job in the world. I am a teacher. I shape young minds. I teach them not only about aliens or biology, but about how to be better people. How to know when to take something serious and when not to, when to have fun, when to just be free. He kind of goes off on all sorts of rants all the time about how he, I don't know, he's contacted aliens and about his ex-wife and all this kind of this crazy stuff. I don't know. I mean, he sound, sounds like he's not that great of a professor, actually. Someone's got to be looking for aliens, because if we don't look for them, how are we going to find them? When I first heard about this class, I kind of thought it was a joke. But then I found out it was a real class that you could actually take for GE requirements. And I got really excited because I thought, wow, such an easy class. You know, it's all about aliens. I'll go, I'll listen to this crazy professor ramble on and get an easy A and just be done with it. I hate this class so much. It's just a waste of time. There are no women. The only students are me, the two idiots, and the girl. It's just not worth my time. We're going to a crash site today, a UFO crash site, uh, in the old windowless professor, van. Professor, can I drive? Good throw! We're taking the heart of gold, is what I like. Over here, over here. We're taking the heart of gold, patent pending. <laughs> this is my baby. It's reliable, it's safe. Pister, knock it off! Uh, helps with the chicks, am I right? It, she thought so. Uh, one day I plan on taking this down to Mexico. Um, that is basically the hub of UFO activity. I don't know what uh, they like down there. Maybe it's the enchiladas. <laughs> <laughs> Professor always sleeps on these rides. He's a he's like an angel almost. I just, just imagine what he dreams about. You know, aliens and and uh, you know spaceships. Professor doesn't let anybody drive the van but me, and uh, that's because he trusts me. Oh. The aliens may have come up this way. I think the stu I, I think the students really appreciate coming out here. Keep going! They really respect me when I come because I really try and give them uh, field work, and also I'm not allowed on campus anymore. Basically, this whole thing blows. There's no such thing as aliens, and, well, quite frankly, there's no women here, and that disappoints me immensely. There's that one girl. She'll be good enough. I don't know, this whole thing's pretty lame. It's a big waste of my time. Like five miles to see a field. I don't even get cell phone reception. I can't even talk to my boyfriend out here. How am I supposed to handle that? I love coming here. I mean, 15 times a week just sometimes is enough for me. I, uh, sometimes I come alone um, at night and I just sit and, and watch. Uh, I've calculated that this is about 24.3 square feet, so the alien vessel would be at least that size, maybe even bigger. To think that at one point alien technology rested here, you know, it's like I feel at peace here. I really do. I feel like this is my home. I feel like nothing can hurt me here and nothing can, uh, except for maybe my ex-wife. <laughs> It's said that people find sources of powers and then build monuments on them, like uh, Stonehenge or Atlantis, and I think the Easter Island heads. And that sort of explains the parking lot. And I think they're building an Arby's over there. I can't wait for that. It's not a question of if I'll be taken away. It's a question of when. Um, if not by the aliens, um, God willing, it will be the aliens. I'm sure they will want me with them to help teach them, and they'll teach me, and I'll experience pleasures the which no human has ever experienced. But if they don't do it, then the government will. Especially after this documentary. Hopefully the aliens see it before the government does. I hope, though, with this documentary being made, people will question more. They'll wonder, they'll think, they'll look to the skies and they'll think, you know, is Professor Edwards up there? Is he up there? Is that him? He's going across, no, no, it's just a satellite. And they'll, they'll realize that I am with them. I'm in their hearts. I'm in their minds. And I'm on the planet Zoltron.